Well, after quite a season for Alabama baseball, it looks to be even brighter in 2024. The Tide with their own version of Shohei Otani soon taking the field in Wicksburg alum, Cade Snell. It's been a crazy journey for Wicksburg product, Cade Snell. But everything happens for a reason. Uh, I'm a firm believer on that. Multiple times, he's fallen just short of capturing a championship. It was 2020 in Wicksburg when... We come off with a really hot start. I mean, we're 13-1 and one on the year. And uh, I was looking at my teammates, and I was like, man, you know, this is the year. Like, we got a chance to do this. Just knowing that we could have brought a state championship back here, you know, first time, I think, ever. And um, bringing it back to Wicksburg would have been would have been great, but obviously that wasn't meant to be. The COVID-19 pandemic ended the Panthers and Snell's senior season. He then took his talents to the Plains, where he would look to pitch for the Tigers. I thought, you know, Auburn being my dream school, that was the place. That was the place I wanted to go. I'm not going to shy away from it. I got cut. Snell thought his baseball career was over, but then... I got the call from Mackey, and it was kind of up to me. He wanted me to do... Um, you know, hitting and pitching, which I was all for. Snell was headed back home to play for Wallace Dothan, a junior college. I couldn't be more appreciative of Wallace and, and Wicksburg and, you know, this whole community. So they've always supported me and, you know, even though it's been a bumpy ride. In his freshman season, he threw a perfect game. His sophomore year, he won ACCC Player and Pitcher of the Year, NJCAA, D1 First Team All-American and the Community College Athlete of the Year for the state capped off by winning the National Junior College Player of the Year. But even with all those accolades, Snell and the Govs fell short of the ultimate goal. I wish we could have won the big one. I mean, we had a chance to do it two years in a row, and uh, we never we never got it done. And now the former Tiger and Gov takes his talent across the state to Tuscaloosa. At the end of the day, it's a business, um, and it's just baseball. Uh, that's really what it comes down to. And he's looking to capture what's been eluding him the past few years. My freshman year here, we didn't get a chance to get a ring. Sophomore year here, didn't get a chance to get a ring. So it's coming, and uh, I can't wait to uh, I can't wait to fulfill that dream in Alabama. Roll Tide and go Govs.